Welcome to another Rugged Life and Vice Review video. In this video, we are utilizing our time out here in this campsite reviewing the Ridge Rider awning walls. And with me is a Ridge Rider awning tent. So here are some quick specs for you. So we are here for an overnight camping trip, which I believe the awning wall is an awesome setup because for short term camping trips you set it up it's easy to set up it, this one the awning attaches to your vehicle there's nothing else to bring apart from the actual tent which as you can see is in this handy bag it's quite lightweight it's got everything you need the only negative thing to a setup like this is same as a rooftop tent is that you can't drive off once you've set it up because obviously it, it is attached to your vehicle but for people like us who go camping quite a bit, we've got short-term and long-term camping trips. It's always a good option to have this for your short-term camping trips, wherein you know that you won't be driving away at the time that or after you set it up. All right, so we'll start with the bag. So the bag is quite heavy duty. I like the fact that it's got that. Makes it easy to put both handles together. Zipper is, I wouldn't say heavy duty as such, but medium duty maybe. Pretty nice and tough anyway. Nothing to complain about there. Got your bag of pegs. And looks like the bag itself is probably waterproof got some instructions sewed into here which is really good so you don't lose it and straight away you can see that that is a heavy duty zipper look at that so we will unpack it and um, attach it to the awning and we will see how we go and you can see the floor as well it's obviously the floor that is very heavy duty look at that waterproof very tough. All right, let's do it. So if you want the rear door or the only door of the tent to be facing to the rear of the vehicle which I prefer myself because you can easily come out of here get to the stuff at the back of your vehicle come back in you have to put the awning on the left side of the vehicle like so if you put on the right side this door should be facing the front of the vehicle for you to set it up the way it's designed to be so here it is set up the awning hooked up the tent which you've seen is pretty easy for a one person it's a one-man job it's pretty easy for one person to do it so the only thing I haven't done is peg down the four corners of the tent it's a bit crumply and not as tidy as what it should be so it's not the tents fault it's my fault I'll show you the window so we have a window on this side you can obviously roll it down and zipper on it each side to close that for privacy and make it waterproof another window on this side so as you can see it attaches to the awning with these straps velcro straps which you can manually adjust depending on the height that you want depending on how high your vehicle is off the ground or how, how high your awning is off the ground same with this with these uh, sides here for the poles you can adjust the velcro straps depending on how tight you want the whole tent to be so as you can see it slides that part slides onto the rail right here and it's the same on the inner side of the awning so that's obviously the main door we've got two sheets one is the screen which I've folded up and the solid wall all right and as you've seen earlier the whole floor just comes apart via this heavy-duty zipper waterproof floor really thick and heavy-duty 
couple of pockets here for storage right and there's a couple of allocations for provisions for uh, power points, power cords, sorry, if you're um, camping in a powered site, and this one down here as well. And the beauty about this is like, you've got a door here, which if you open it up, you've got to excuse my camera skills, because I'm using one hand to do this. The whole side opens up, like so, and you've got access to the whole side of your vehicle. So you could get, if you've got a fridge in there, or... Hello. Alright, and you can roll it up, and put it up there to keep the whole, the whole door open if you wanted to easy access to the side of your vehicle I attached a couple of side walls to my awning as well so which I brought today I'm not going to put it up because it's not about the side walls about the tent but if you hooked up the side wall and put a couple of poles I've got those um, four folding, folding poles there put it up here got a shade extension extend your living space you can't put the front front awning on this guy because the front awning attaches via this rails as well and since we only have one rail we can't use it but you can put another side awning on this side of the tent extend it and you've got maximum shade on that side as well to cover your windows so there you have it guys, thanks for watching another Rugged Life unbiased review video and we will see you on the next one.